There's 3D printing, electronics, lasers, printer corners, and other stuff too. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and wire up the motors, and I'll probably, um, you know, be putting some zip ties and things on this. But I want to get it going first, just to see if it's gonna work. So this is motor one, this is motor two, and it says uh, there's a one and a two on the bottom in case you're not sure. Um, and then you're gonna <clears throat> go ahead and plug these in. So there's a, a motor, an M1, M3, and M2 on the board here, and you're gonna line them up to those. Based on the documentation, the black is going to go, the black wire will go towards the, the marking on the board for M1. So motor one, I'm gonna go ahead and plug in. Motor two as well. Again, black on towards the silk screen where the letter is. And then the Z, I'm just gonna tuck this under, which is, um, which is motor three and same drill, so. Okay, those are all plugged in. Oops, one came out, I don't think it was all the way in. A little bit tricky. Okay, there we go. And then the servos are next. Okay, in the kit, um, at least mine included two of these servo extension cables. That's pretty nice of them. Um, they are pretty long. I don't think they really need to be that long, but you could always trim them if you want. I'm gonna go ahead and um, plug them in together. And they sh you should be able to match up um, the, the color of the wires. And then uh, I think the other thing, you wanna make sure the wires are uh, have plenty of room for movement, which they do, uh, no concern there. So the first one I plugged in was the wrist servo. And based on the sheet, that goes into the serve two port. So serve two is this header right here. And it's a three pin. Ground, ground is gonna be your brown wire and that's gonna be on the inside. So you're gonna plug it in just like that. Okay, hopefully you can see that okay. I know that's a little low on the camera. That's gonna go right here with brown on the inside. And then the second one is just gonna be servo one. Do the same thing. <clears throat> Brown on the inside. Okay. And actually that should be about it for the wiring. Okay, after reading through the instructions, I found out that um, you wanna route the cables, the servo cables underneath. I originally had them on top. Uh, and then you're gonna connect the servo cables here. Just make sure you've got them plugged in. So the wrist one <clears throat> goes into servo two, which I think is this one. That's servo one, okay. So that's, that's my, yeah, that's my gripper. And then make sure you get the wires correct. And then, same thing with this one. Okay, so you basically connect all that up and you leave enough slack and then you route it through these motor wires here. And there's some zip tie fixing points. Um, there's one right here that kinda looks like it keeps it off the, the uh, lead screw. So I'll eventually zip tie that up. <clears throat> and I think now I can insert this piece. There we go, all right. That goes in like that. Okay, should be in, good to go on the wiring. Then there's also a loom that they give you. So all this stuff gets wrapped up in a nice um, loom, which is uh, right here. So you get this piece and then you just kind of wrap it inside that. I'm not gonna do that right now functionality first and then we'll make it pretty all right okay I'm just gonna go ahead and loosely apply some zip ties here so I did put one here there's a little loop under this plastic piece um, I've got those wires there and then this other one there's a hole I'm just gonna insert the zip tie 
here and then um, I'm gonna pull it around and insert it there and try, try not to get it cut in these belts. Okay, I ended up taking off the top piece um, so I can get the zip tie in, but you can kind of see where I did it. Um, as it moves around, I don't see that it's gonna tangle. Um, probably wanna have, tighten it down a little bit more with a little slack, just so there's uh, adequate strain relief. This one, you can see a close up here. How I tied it, so I think the worst <coughs> or the what you gotta be aware of is you just want to have enough slack so things can move around. Seems like um, maybe putting some strain relief on here would be a good idea too. Okay, I ended up taking off the top piece um, so I can get the zip tie in, but you can kind of see where I did it. Um, as it moves around, I don't see that it's gonna tangle. Um, probably want to have tighten it down a little bit more with a little slack just so there's uh, adequate strain relief. This one you can see a close up here. So I tied it, so I think the worst <coughs> or the what you gotta be aware of is you just want to have enough slack so things can move around. <laughs> 